Today, I wanted to give you guys a quick in-depth look at Genshin Impact's map size so you can get an idea of what to expect when the game launches. I'm going to take a look at a few different things, like the time it takes to traverse, looking at character speeds and what I believe to be the fastest way on foot to move, as well as some rough estimates on the world's actual size, and then compare the estimates to other open world game map sizes. If you guys enjoy, stick around because I have lots of Genshin Impact coming next week. I decided for this video, I'm going to take the path from the south of Leoe Harbor all the way up through the Dawn Winery, past Mondstadt, and then up to the northeastern shore where the game starts off. I did the entire test just going at walking speed, no sprinting or dashing at all. It took actually pretty close to what I was expecting, with the first leg to the harbor taking right around 5 minutes, and then between Leoe and Mondstadt taking about 15 or so minutes, and then the last part of the trip took about another 5 minutes. I avoided some enemies along the way, and I tried to take the main route, as I think that's how most players will experience the game if they decide not to use the fast travel, or it's their first time going down into Leoe. So, in total, it took just under 22 minutes to go from the very south all the way to the northeastern shores. This is pretty decent, I have to say, and probably as good as a number as I'll be able to get on foot, since most of the game actually requires climbing and gliding to traverse quickly. One thing I decided to try out was figuring out how quickly the characters move in game. So I found most of them move about the same speed, so for this test I decided to do a 100 meter walk, sprint, and dash to see how each method compared. Surprisingly, I found sprinting wasn't that much better than just walking due to running out of stamina, taking a couple seconds to regenerate completely. The fastest way I found was actually by pacing out dashes, and it actually cut close to 10 seconds off per 100 meters, which was really surprising. It just takes some practice to time the dashes efficiently. That being said, I also tested out a mixed 100 meter run, combining all three to see how fast I could go, and I wasn't too surprised to see the time drop a good amount compared to just walking or sprinting alone. Here are the numbers I got during the four tests and the respected speed in meters per second. Just walking gave a speed of 4.52 meters per second. Sprinting took 18.6 seconds if you don't include the stamina regen time, so it gave a pretty good speed of 5.51 meters per second, while pace dashing was pretty fast at 6.2 meters per second. And finally, mixing, sprinting, and dashing and walking was really fast at 6.23 meters per second. I was actually really surprised about the pace dashing being so fast as with a little practice, I think you could infinitely go at that 6.2 meters per second speed. Before we get into the estimates on the world size, I wanna preface it with, I'm not the best at math and these numbers should be taken with a grain of salt, but let me know down below what you think. Let's start off with our control square, which is the 100 meters I used earlier to test the speed of movement. As you can see, it is tiny compared to the size of the map. So we're gonna need a lot of them. I copy and pasted this square and locked them together to get these three images and their rough map sizes. I tried diagonally, which was roughly 4,400 meters. I tried vertically, which was 5,000 meters. And finally, a horizontal map that was 5,400 meters in total. From there, we can use a little bit of basic area calculation of length times width to get 27 kilometers squared or 10.4 miles squared. Now, as I said before, I'm not the best with math, but these numbers don't seem too far-fetched. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and maybe give me some pointers about calculating this properly if I did it wrong. Now that we have the estimated size of 27 kilometers squared, we compare it to other games in the genre of open world to see how it stacks up against other titles. I wanted to compare this to some games that I'm personally familiar with and have explored before, so let's compare the map of Breath of the Wild, Assassin's Creed Unity, and then a few other bigger massive games. 
So compared to Genshin Impact, Breath of the Wild's map is 61.2 kilometers squared, which is a bit over double the size I estimated. But since the game still has a way to go before release, we may see a third area added that increases Genshin's overall size. Compared to Unity though, Genshin dwarfs its Paris in only 2.74 kilometers squared in Assassin's Creed Unity. I have to say, while Genshin on paper is smaller than Breath of the Wild, I actually really like the smaller map and I think Mihoyo is doing a great job filling the world with interesting locations around every corner. For a bit of fun, I also compared Genshin Impact's map to big games like The Witcher 3, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Assassin's Creed Origins, and it's no surprise that Genshin is dwarfed in size, with Witcher 3 being a massive 136 kilometers squared when you add all the areas together, Red Dead was 72 kilometers squared, and Assassin's Creed Origins was 80 kilometers squared. While Genshin Impact's map is currently a fair size, I think that if they add more areas, they will need to consider a mode of transportation like horses, since the player's speed is pretty limited right now. I think any more area that needs to be walked would make the game feel slow. Horses are a realistic idea, but I think it'd be cool if they leaned a little bit into the mythological mounts like a griffin or something cool like that that can quickly fly to different areas. Maybe giving mounts a nice speed of 12 to 15 meters per second would really help the game world if more areas are added. So what do you think? Was my math super bad or do you agree that the numbers seem right? Genshin is a huge game nonetheless, with tons of areas to discover and this video didn't even mention the other domains, so maybe we'll take a look at those in another video. Also, you may have noticed I said Leo way right this time. Thanks to Tevot, Historia, and his great videos that have definitely helped me figure out some more pronunciations. So go check him out. He'll be pinned in the corner. And yeah, anyways, let me know what you think and let's start a conversation. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all next time.